Well, for many people, the spring season means it's time to start thinking about plants and gardens. And one of the things you may be considering this time of year is an edible landscape. So joining us now with more on that is Brad Kindler. He is a sustainable landscape specialist. Thanks for being here today, Brad. It's my pleasure. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, so what are we all talking about? Um, different kinds of shrubs, plants yeah. that are edible? So for the edible landscape that we're imagining, we're talking about fruit trees, integrated with maybe shrubs and even potentially some nut trees uh, higher up in the canopy. So this is a, a very integrated landscape that a person could have at their home or in their uh, uh, acreage. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're, we're thinking about a diversity of plant materials that you would put in the landscape. Here. And all plants that will work here in our state. Absolutely, yeah. So this is our goal is to is to inform people in Nebraska about the opportunity from the west part of the state to the eastern part of the state about what's appropriate to grow in that area. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So why do you think people should get involved in this? Uh, you know, we were speaking just briefly before uh, the, the camera cut on here, John, and we were talking about our grandparents had these trees growing in the landscape. They mm -hmm. had peaches, they yeah. had apricots, mm -hmm. they had apples, plums. Uh, every once in a while you might encounter uh, something like a service berry, right? These are things that a lot of people were growing in the years past, and we want to integrate those into our landscapes moving forward. We think it's important for people to have food where they live so they can walk outside and have the joy of picking their own fruit. And in order to do that, we want to make sure that they're growing the right varieties and they're having uh, success when they try. Perfect, and you have an event coming up to talk about some of these things. That's right, so the Nebraska Forest Service is gonna hold an edible landscape workshop at Kimmel Orchard on April 4th. It's 9 a.m. to 4 p.m., it's $25. It's open to the public. We're gonna talk about the range of edible landscaping crops that you can grow in the state. Mm -hmm. Are you amazed? I guess I'm always amazed. I always thought a pear or a peach didn't really think it would grow here, but those grow here. It's really yes. unique. Yeah, they do cool. grow here, and I think they're more delicious when you pick them off your tree, <laughs> and you get them at the peak of ripeness, and not only is it nutrition, but it's joy, it's beauty. Mm -hmm. Those are the types of things that we want to bring into our landscape as well. If someone just wants to get started with this, what's a good tree or a shrub to start with? Okay. Okay, it's a good question, and that's a, it's not always as easy as just saying this is the, the right one. So you want to mm -hmm. keep in mind the location that you have, the conditions of the location. For example, is it full sun? Is there some shade? What are the soil requirements like? But for example, if you wanted to find a tree that's self-pollinating, meaning that it doesn't necessarily have to get pollen from another variety of that tree, and that it's disease resistant. So for example, an apple variety that we often recommend is called Liberty. Liberty is highly disease resistant, and it can also, you know, to a certain extent, produce fruit without a lot of pollen from another tree. Okay. okay. Good way to get started. And again, that event is coming up when? It's April 4th, Thursday, April 4th, Kimmel Orchard, outside Nebraska City, from 9 a.m. to 4. All right. Very cool. Very good. Thanks for coming in. My pleasure. Thanks mm -hmm. for having me.